Hello and welcome to our channel on FPNA Professionals. Today we are looking at a topic called scenario planning. Scenario planning is a critical tool for anyone working in FPNA. Whether you are analyzing risks, forecasting future financial conditions, or preparing for various business outcomes, mastering scenario planning can significantly enhance your strategic decision making process. So let's get started. First, let's understand what is scenario planning. Scenario planning allows us to explore and prepare for multiple future outcomes by changing key drivers and assumptions. It's like asking what if. What if market conditions change? What if costs increase? Or what if a new competitor enters the market? Scenario planning can help us model these different scenarios and visualize their impact on our financial performance. It is like preparing for a journey with multiple routes. Let's say you are traveling to a certain place and there are three different routes. Which one should you take if there is traffic on the highway? Or what if there are heavy rains, then you might have to take a different route. Or if there is a road closure, then you might have to pick an alternate route, which might be one of the three. Similarly, by evaluating diverse options or scenarios, individuals or businesses can develop strategies that are robust, flexible, and be prepared for a range of possible future outcomes, overall leading to a more solid planning and analysis. First, let's talk about the most common scenarios used in financial models. Base case scenario. This scenario predicts what's most likely to happen, considering how things are going on right now. It is a balanced way not too optimistic or pessimistic and is used as a standard to compare other possible situations. Second is the best case scenario. This scenario is the most optimistic scenario outlining what could happen if everything goes better than expected. It assumes favorable outcomes such as higher demand for a product, lower costs or beneficial trends leading to the best possible end outcome. And finally, we have the worst case scenario. Opposite to the best case, this scenario is the most pessimistic. Considering the impact of negative events like economic downturns, increased competition or operational challenges, it helps in understanding the potential risks and preparing for adverse situations. To build scenarios in Excel, you need to understand two different Excel functions. The first one is the choose function and second is the combo box. First, let's start with the choose function. So what does choose function do? It is like a magic box in Excel. Imagine that you have different options in separate boxes and you want to pick one option based on a number that you choose. That's exactly what choose function does for you. It selects a value from a list of values based on a number. You will see this in action when we do the example. Let's look at an example. Robert Achilles, uh, Dennis, do you see a developer tab on top in your Excel? Sorry, let me check a minute. Yes. Developer tab, yes, I am able to see developer tab. Okay, so Achilles has it, Dennis has it. How about David? Do you have the developer tab? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Uh, so I think we are on the right screen. Share Akash, we'll get the developer tab for you. So you have to go to file. Okay, file. Options. There are last uh, customized ribbon option there or advanced option. Let's say the customized Customize ribbon. ribbon. Yeah. Uh, there on the right, you should be able to do a tick mark on, on the right side yeah, for a developer tab. Yeah, this one. Okay, then I'll press OK. You have to key in one. Just key in a number, which is one. Okay. Now, let's come to G12, cell G12, where you have the cost inflation. So this row is called as the switcher or, or, or the formula tab, where the formulas will switch when you, so when you, Change the scenario on top, the formulas on row number 12, row number 23 and the row number 30 should change. And the formula we, we will use is the choose function. So what the choose function is that, what the choose function does is based on the reference in the cell D6, which is one right now, it will change uh, the scenario. So when you drop down, when you change it to two, it will pick the second uh, row. When you drop down to three, it will pick the third row. So, the Excel function Akash is, is equal to choose. Okay, now open brackets. You have to reference it to the one that you have in cell D6. So you reference it to cell D6. I'll freeze this because we'll have to move across uh, freezing this cell. So we'll freeze this. Now do a comma. And after the comma are the 
three scenario or three or more scenarios if you're building more it can be more but in this case three so we'll do g14 g15 and g16 yeah i don't know if this will work so i would put commas instead of i don't think the things so this will work so you have to do g14 comma g15 comma g16 so what you are telling excel is when there is one in that uh, cell d6 it has to pick up row number 14 when there is two in that cell uh, d6 it has to pick up row number 15 is what we are telling okay now we can close the brackets now we can drag it to the right that we want to build that throughout okay. we can i mean forget about the formatting right now we're more focused on the formula so if you notice because it is one it is picking up the formulas from row number 14. now if you can change it to three it should pick up the formulas from row number 17. it did it change right so we'll, we'll stop here, we'll let others uh, do this. So I want Dennis, Achilles, David, you try this out and, and let us know when you are ready to step yeah, so I did that finally, it's working. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so how about Dennis, David, do you want us to wait or are you are you doing it parallelly? No, it's all right. We follow through. I, I, I wasn't doing it, but uh, I think I'm okay. I'm just completing. Okay. okay, so we will move. So at any point of time you want us to stop, let us know. We'll wait for you to catch up. So now this is step number one where you see in the choose function. Now step number two is uh, step number two is we cannot we, we we when we looked at the model it was not so we don't want to be doing one two three right. We want it to be a drop down where we do a base case, worst case, and uh, best case. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, the developer tab that we added is for the purpose of putting a form control in, in the in this uh, in this Excel sheet. So what we'll do is we'll go to the developer tab Akash, and we'll insert in the developer tab there is an option to insert. And what I use is the second option, the combo box. You can use any. Uh, I don't know if there are other ways to do this, but this is a way option I use. So now when you click on that it will give you a cursor to create a create a shape uh, yeah when you click on that uh, you can create a shape which is a rectangle anywhere on this excel file you create a rectangle not a square right? uh, okay this is fine this is this works now it's fine it's fine, it's fine. okay i'll make it big i think it will you can make it bigger even bigger so we should be able to read uh, whatever is there in the white space so even make it bigger bigger in terms of wider yeah it's not when i click on it now when you have to select it you have to do a right click ah, okay so go to the right now uh, again do a right click on the shape on, on this hmm. go to the last option which is the format control option now what you have to do here you have to input the three scenarios so what we'll do is we'll input so here you have to select say you select cell number c14 to cell 16 c16 because there you have already documented the three scenarios okay. and uh, you have to link the cell link will be to cell d6 so you're telling the combo box to link the three scenarios to the numbers one two three okay uh, drop down lines you can make that 8 into 3 otherwise there will be blank uh, in that no we have to make that 3 oh okay you want only 3 options if you keep it 8 it will give you blank 5 uh, it will give you 5 blank drop downs now if you can click okay and now uh, when you do this, it messes it up. So that one became zero. So you have to make that one again. So that zero, you have to change it to one. Or any one number. So now when you do one, if, if you notice on the right, uh, the, the scenario is changing to base case, right? Now, if you want to yeah. drop down, if you, if you want to change the scenario now, it is connected. So now your box over the, so you should hide that D6L so that one two three should not be visible instead of that you have to replace it with this uh with this shape so do a right click okay. and 
shape. Hmm. Now you'll be able to move it and you have to place it on that cell D6 in a way that it gets hidden and it, it's in that uh, rectangle. So yeah, we have to make it smaller. Yeah, so yeah, this is done. Scenario planning in Excel equips FPNA professionals with insights to navigate uncertainty and make informed decisions. By modeling various future states, you can anticipate changes, mitigate risks, and capitalize on opportunities. Remember, the goal here isn't to predict the future, but to prepare for it.